Today's video is going to be based on outfits that are perfect for this time of year. Outfits that are great for the colder, festive time of year that we are in now. I have a few thrifted looks to show you, about five. Uh, there is one skirt in here, the green mini skirt, that was not thrifted. That was something I purchased a while back. It fits me beautifully, it's perfect, and so I never intend on getting rid of it so yeah so that's the one piece in here that is not thrifted everything else has been including with this first beautiful outfit that i'm going to show you now uh so this here is a sophisticated holiday festive look this blouse is a beautiful silk blouse with floral print and the skirt that i'm pairing it with is a plaid knee length uh skirt and i am going to be talking a bit about the blouse right now so this blouse is perfectly loose so it's fitted loose like if something is my size but it's just loose on me rather than oversized loose so those are two different distinctions and i just wanted to be clear uh so what drew me to this blouse is the mood of the blouse it's almost a really dark romantic um romantic mood to it because of the muted uh, florals normally when you see florals they are very vibrant and happy like the florals on the shirt that i'm wearing right now this one here though is this gray cast over it that i think is so romantic it almost looks as though the flowers are withering but they're not they're alive <laughs> um anyhow the background is dark gray the flowers are a beautiful muted green with gorgeous gray shadow detailing um it's it's unlike anything i've ever seen when it comes to florals and that's why i picked it up uh, a few months back when i did the buttons are really discreet tiny black buttons going down and um it is a size six so it's fitted um slightly loose on me and um it's uh 100 silk by jones new york i am pairing it with this gorgeous knee length plaid uh wool skirt because it looks really sophisticated together. There's something about this look that looks festive, sophisticated. So there are a lot of holiday work parties coming up and I chose this look for, for you girls and women that have office jobs or going with your friends or partners to your, um, your friend's office party. Anyhow, it's a knee length wool skirt for now because I intend on cutting it. I love making all of my skirts mini because I feel like I just look beautiful in a mini skirt. I like to show a lot of skin as well. Um, so the colors here on the plaid are burgundy, green, blue, and tan, and brown. So it's just a beautiful knee length skirt. It is beautiful at the knee length that it comes in, but you know, I just prefer a mini skirt. But if you purchase this outfit, you can do whatever you want with it. Another thing I wanted to mention is that what I'm discussing on here today will be up for sale on my Instagram. So if you see something on my Instagram that you really like and you've got to have, let me know and I'll put, um, I'll snap a quick photo and put it on one of the selling apps and that way you can purchase it right away. Um, just communicate with me. I'm always here, um, you know, checking out your queries. So that is outfit one. And I want to mention quickly because I know that in my B-roll you don't see me wearing shoes. I'm usually barefoot wearing house slippers. That's for a few reasons. Mainly I don't like to wear shoes in my apartment. Um, but also because taking my shoes, especially my sock boots, which I favor a lot during the holiday because they just look so festive. They're leather and, um, and suede and that combo looks really, it looks festive and holiday to me. So I choose to wear it a lot during this time of year. Getting those on and off is a hassle, though I love those boots so much. Getting them on and off is a true hassle and a lot of work, and so I don't do it. Um, but I'm going to constantly remind you that for everything that I wear, I either wear the sock boots, my knee length boots, or my Doc Martens. So I also have loafers, so I'll say on the side, I guess, what you can pair with it. But it's usually those four, like everything... Everything that I wear is usually something that you can pair with those four options. Um, or of course, if you choose to take your liberties and wear whatever you have, you can do that as well. But if you're looking for a bit of guidance when it comes to shoes, like a complete outfit, then I'll, I'll make a note on the side for you. Because I do, I do realize that I don't wear shoes often in my videos. Um, it's just it's a lot of work to put those things on and take them off again and again. Um, anyhow, so moving on to the second outfit. I want to mention quickly that... I have all my apartment windows on right now, so that's probably why I'm not a shining ball of sweat, if you've noticed. <laughs> I have my window uh, in front of me open, behind me open, 
everywhere open. It's raining outside and there's a bunch of police sirens and fire sirens um, going back and forth. My super, I think, was arguing with someone on the phone earlier. I'm not sure if the audio captured any of that or is capturing the rain in the background. That's pretty constant. Um, I I have a dead cat on my on my um, mic. I think it's called a dead cat. To me, it looks like a little mouse, so I call it a little mouse, but I think it's known as a dead cat. Anyway, it's something that's supposed to help me drown out the background noise. I can't do another video with the windows down and me sweating. Ugh, you don't understand what it's like after I edit. When I'm editing and I see the sweat on top of my lip or my shiny forehead or my shiny cheeks, it just, it really, um, you know, when I see this, just pouring of sweat on my face and I, I suffer so much during editing because of that because I just want to delete everything and start over but I can't so I'm trying something different by giving myself air and ventilation <laughs> I have put my windows up and I put a dead cat on my mic and hopefully the noise does not make it to your ears so hopefully that works we'll see at the end of the video so we have a gorgeous pairing here this looks so so pretty when I put this on today because that's what I do I'll try on my outfits before the video I didn't want to take it off anyhow what we have here is a beautiful silk floral skirt paired with a beautiful cropped um, net cardigan so the cardigan is open it has no uh, no buttons but you can add your own closure which is what I would do I would add a bit of a maybe a, a safety pin right there just to give it a bit of closure but keeping it still really open and free and sexy um, the colors are really pretty tan like a shiny tan fabric and it has gorgeous uh, net detail all around almost like this diamond sun Kind of detail going all the way around and over the left shoulder in the front you see this beautiful rose um design it's so gorgeous the sleeves are extra long so they pass my hands and they have a bit of a bell uh, cuff it's just really 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 beautiful and there is no other way to describe this but a beautiful sexy cardigan cropped cardigan um, of course I intend on wearing this a lot in the spring if I haven't sold it by then but for now it's going to be something that I'm pairing for you all with um, for a nice festive fun look I decided to pair with this here so skirt because of the colors so above all, above all else I love to mix the fabrics of course but the colors go really nicely together um, the colors on the skirt are pink and orange and green and of course black there is this beautiful ruffled piping going down the front and the skirt is lined so um, if you like to remove the lining because you like a really sheer skirt you can do that I'm gonna keep the lining on this one um, unless you purchase it from me and then you can do whatever you want <laughs> so this looks really pretty together I have decided to wear it just like this with a bra for the video. I was going to put a silk tank top under, but I realized that that would take away from the look that I, I'm trying to I'm trying to convey here. There's a certain look I'm going for here, and the tank top will ruin that look. So for the most part, I'm going to be wearing it with a bra only. Um, of course, what will bring this right up to the festive season is a beautiful red matte velvet lipstick. And Milani, just so you know, I intend on doing this video in the future where I pair um, lipsticks and outfits. I have that in mind, like a thrifted outfit with a perfect lipstick kind of idea video coming up. Um, but I just want to share with you for now that Milani mattes are my favorite mattes. Um, and they are a drugstore. They're red, iconic, it's beautiful. They have a, like three different reds and they're all gorgeous. I have the entire Milani matte lipstick line. Um, anyhow, so this with a beautiful red lip will bring you right into December. I think it will be gorgeous, especially if you're in the warmer, um, if you're in a warmer climate. But as you already know, I wear whenever, I wear whatever whenever, and I intend on wearing this <laughs> as described here in New York City, though it's chilly. Um, anyhow, it's just a beautiful, sexy, festive, um, outfit that's, only you will be wearing so if that's something that's important to you then you might want to check out my Instagram and purchase this baby um, I don't mind selling something together just so you know but for the most part everything it's a single purchase um, on my Instagram and on my apps this outfit here I think will go really well with knee length boots like tall boots and also with my sock boots I don't think I'll wear this with Doc Martens unless I'm 
like feeling really casual like if i wanted to just go to the movies wearing this or something then i'll wear my doc martens but for the most part i'll give myself some height and um i think the boots add something that you don't expect because the outfit looks overall like a spring outfit pretty much but the colors and the tall boots will bring it into the fall and winter uh it's gorgeous i love it i can't believe i'm selling it so the next outfit is this beautiful pairing of vintage and modern the cardigan that i am pairing with this beautiful wool mini skirt today is just something that to me looks so beautiful and so vintage i recently purchased this about two weeks ago so it's really new i've worn it twice already so i really like it um it is a beautiful cream colored cardigan handmade it has beautiful handmade details inside like i love when you open up a handmade shirt and really see the details in the work um anyhow this has a really pretty design of bubbles going down the front and down the back which you know i love that wrap design um it also has a gorgeous drawstring detail at the waist or at the lower waist that would just help you give your give you a bit of curves um if you'd like i like and so of course i have it cinched in there it has these really pretty um faux pearlescent buttons going down the front they give a like a faux pearlescent reflect and sheen um which is pretty as well because it's shiny but still really subtle and it blends in well with the cardigan um i've said it a million times but buttons are really important they can make or break an outfit or a piece um anyhow so it's a really warm sweater and because of that i like to wear it with a few buttons open up top and in the bottom you know to let some air in i really need that so pairing it here with this more modern um mini skirt to me just creates a really pretty look like just pretty overall um this is a houndstooth mini skirt which was a long knee length skirt that i had my tailor um you know tailor for me and he just made this thing melt to my figure like this skirt is a mold of my body and because of that i won't be selling the skirt i love it too much it fits me beautifully but if you're looking for a skirt like this i can help you find it so let me know and um and uh we'll get on with that purchase and all that um anyhow it's beautiful i love wearing the cardigan with rusty flare colored jeans or light blue jeans uh flared the the cardigan because it's vintage if i pair it with flare jeans flare jeans being associated with the 70s gives me an overall vintage look if i want to do something different and pair it with the skirt i like to um wear it with a mini skirt definitely and i like to leave the top buttons open the bottom buttons open and just have a bit of the skirt peeking through the front as well as you know um creating a really beautiful figure with the cinched waistline so this outfit definitely requires red lipstick don't even think about it i would never wear this outfit with any other lipstick color except red i'm exaggerating brick will also look really pretty brick will look more modern i think red like a gorgeous velvet red would look um just perfect but brick would also be nice with it i was just being um dramatic but anyhow it's beautiful i will wear this with my sock boots even with loafers i think it will look a little um chic geek pretty <laughs> um anyhow this is a beautiful outfit and moving on to number four so the next outfit is this pullover uh wool sweater paired with this gorgeous leather skirt so i just purchased this pullover sweater i actually have not worn it yet um i intend on wearing it very soon unless someone purchased it for me today <laughs> uh but yes so i really like this sweater because it's wool but it's really soft on me so it doesn't make me itch or anything like that and it's it's thin but it still will keep me warm on a really cold day also what i love about it is the beautiful details it has a really slight puffy shoulder really pretty buttons going down um halfway down the front and of course the tie it has this really pretty tie at the neck that i love so much because it just adds such a perfect feminine touch to the pullover and of course the cuffs every time the cuffs are long and tight like that it gives the sweater a more feminine appeal because it adds a bit of puff to it which when you find the the cuffs to be this way you also find the shoulders to be slightly puffy as well 
that's my experience with this kind of cuff um of course cream and black look beautiful and sophisticated together and so that's why i have chosen to pair these two together today the skirt i've had for a long time so long and it's still knee length because i love it so much that i'm afraid to ruin it by cutting it into a mini skirt and i have fantasized about making this a mini skirt i'm just so afraid of ruining it that i feel like i have to find another one before i do that anyhow when i find another one i will be turning this one into a mini skirt because i know that i will look so fly in this thing as a mini skirt anyhow it's really really soft it has a bit of pull to it so it looks really great on my curves it has a zip up closure in the back with a button um, to fasten it the button is really really good it really holds uh it really holds the, the skirt closed you know sometimes you find these type of pop buttons and they just you have like a cup of water and they pop open this one is not like that this one is a really secure button um it has a bit of a split in the back but i don't even know it's there half the time um so yeah it's just a perfect classic uh knee length leather skirt knee length, very sophisticated very plain perfect when i say plain and basic i mean perfect i mean plain and basic forever like classic not like boring or um regular i just mean classic when i say plain and basic anyhow the the oh the pullover tucked into the black leather um knee length skirt is gorgeous of course with red lipstick of course with beautiful boots um it's just a really pretty sophisticated outfit classic outfit something that you can have in your wardrobe forever so if you're interested in the top you can see it on my instagram for sale the skirt not yet not ever probably <laughs> So next up we have a um a really beautiful pairing here uh this is the green uh fake leather skirt that i told you about in the beginning earlier on this is the one that is not thrifted it's as old as dirt i've had it for ages it fits me beautifully and it comes in handy um for the holidays because i don't have I, though i have a lot of prints that have a lot of color i don't have a lot of uh pieces that are actual colored pieces so this comes in clutch for the holidays especially um, and in this time around, we're pairing it with this really gorgeous top. It's so beautiful. I purchased this actually over the spring. So I've had it for a while without talking about it. Um, anyhow, it's just a beautiful peplum cream button up uh, short sleeve blouse. So the buttons are covered in fabric. I love buttons that are covered in fabric because they add a richness to the look. They make the top or the quality of the piece just look like high quality it makes it look really um rich and well designed um anyhow it has a beautiful floral design all over it's made up of a floral design of floral stitching i'm not even sure what you would call this honestly i don't think it's crochet but i'm not really quite sure what kind of design it is um anyhow the drop the front drop is a v-neck and it's really sexy and really pretty the puff sleeves add a really feminine touch the puff sleeves paired with the cinched peplum waist is perfection because it is what creates for me an overall feminine look when the waist is cinched and the, the sleeves are slightly pronounced it just looks so feminine and so divine and beautiful it's cream colored so of course for me cream color um top and red lipsticks go beautifully together but cream green and red will be a divine pairing it is the way that this outfit must be worn with beautiful red lips um anyhow so i guess i will wear this okay i guess i will wear this with my um with my this will look great with pumps so if you have pumps i would throw in a pair of pumps with this outfit i don't know if i'm selling a skirt if you're interested let me know and i might pull it up for sale because i'm sure i can find it again now that i think about it um i am selling the top which is so beautiful um so yeah so if you were to wear this entire outfit i would say pumps pumps will look so fly but also boots ankle boots um sock boots specifically i think will look really great that's how i would wear it so yes this outfit would be beautiful for the holidays so my last outfit is a favorite of mine i um i don't know if i'm selling anything like the top or the bottom here I, i'm not sure the top i will sell it eventually this is a gorgeous cardigan but i know i can find a million more like this but just check it out look how beautiful this is anyway let's start back at the beginning so today I'm pairing a cardigan, a obvious holiday Christmas cardigan with uh, flared vintage rust color jeans. 
um, they are gorgeous and I think that they're perfect because I don't have a lot of color in my clothing like I mentioned with the green skirt I don't have single colored pieces so I don't think I'll be selling these jeans but the cardigan I might put up for sale so the cardigan is a beautifully hand knit cardigan um, patchwork floral design beautifully made for the holidays as you can tell this patchwork design this plaid patchwork design first of all is very impressive the floral overlay is gorgeous the colors are obviously very christmas blue green and red like i mentioned in the beginning of the video and those colors are perfect for christmas um and it's gorgeous i appreciate this handmade work very much i think that it is a piece of art to be completely honest with you i have been actually looking for a quilt like this Anyhow, I'm pairing it with rust color jeans today. My arms are really tired. <laughs> I'm pairing it with rust color jeans. And you might think, oh, you can do better, but no, this is a perfect outfit. It's just the burgundy flare jeans make the outfit look overall uh, vintage and casual at the same time. I like to wear this outfit with the two buttons open in the, in the top and the last two buttons open as well for a casual, sexy look. You know, when you sweep your hair out of your face or you scratch your head or something and you can see a bit of skin you then expose a bit of skin with that movement i think that's just beautiful and that's why i like to leave the buttons open also because it's a really thick warm sweater and it makes me really hot so i get ventilation when i leave buttons open anyhow it's beautiful it's casual the sweater will be on sale maybe the pants no not for now um and yes it's just casual this is something you could wear you know, on a casual uh, day, on a walk, to the park, to the movies, to the museum, wherever you are going, you can wear it to stay home if you want. You can wear it to chill in a front stoop if you want. You can wear it to make snowmen if you want. Um, anyhow, my arms are really hurting. <laughs> So I'm gonna put the outfit down. So thank you for watching the video today. I am so eager to see the footage and hopefully I love it and realize that the dead cat on my um, on my mic worked out perfectly and it drowned out all the noise in the background because there is so much noise coming through the background right now. There are big droplets hitting my AC behind me. There is rain hitting the garbage bags in the little area in the side of my building right now in front of me and i'm just hoping that the audio is perfect and that the video turns out great so again thank you so much for watching i um i'll be on instagram so let me know if you have any questions um let me know if you want to make any purchases like i said things hit my instagram before they hit my app so just let me know through instagram if there's something that you want to buy and i'll make sure to upload it to my app as soon as possible. Um, thank you very much and I'll talk to you soon.